This is one parking spot and there's four cars in it. And which tire's flat? Uh, the front right. How are you? Hey, hey. Okay, still a little under four. Good. Wow. How's it still sitting there? Um, awesome. Thank you. I will call. Let's go ahead. Let's go back. Let's go back. I think I'm just going to scratch the whole low pull all together. Are the keys in it? Uh, you got the keys? Okay. Try to drive it out there? I'm trying to back it up. Okay. If you guys have got roadside, make sure you save the receipt so because they'll probably reimburse for the roadside. All right, we're good. It's crazy up here today, guys. I can't believe. So you really have to watch out too for 
the parking, the, the rangers will actually come and I can't believe they've not ticketed all the people that are back. Yeah. Yeah. They, dude, a guy drove by while we were there Like while the car was about to like roll over. He was like, you're, you're, uh, you're parked illegally, illegally, by the way. Really? <laughs> like, yeah, it's like. I won't uh, move it as soon as we can. Yeah. It's like, I'm on top of it, man. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, they, I, I cannot believe how crazy busy it is. Yeah. I don't think this, I was confused when you called because I don't think this is even supposed to open up for like another week or two. But that's only because of the weather. No, uh, it's yeah. That had to have been scary. I don't know how it didn't turn <laughs> over, honestly. That's uh. My expert uh, driving skills. Yeah, I've, I figured you'd be over here hanging from this side of the door to try to keep it from uh. I'm gonna say probably the all-wheel drive helped since you had two tires that were still on instead of just one right, yeah. tire. So I was here on the parking brake because that was supposed to do. Yeah, that works really good. Do whatever you have to do to make it safe for you to get All the information's in that receipt. I'd recommend yep. probably taking a picture of it, and that yep. way you, you'll probably have to email it to your adjuster or whoever uh, is, is going to take care of that. But And there might be a little dirt still in that wheel, so it might do funny things until it all gets slung out of there. But uh, be careful, guys. Yeah. Public service announcement for today. That is why you park in a parking spot in the park. Yeah, it's, I cannot believe the, the National Park has not uh, made its rounds with a suitcase of tickets. <laughs> like, it would be a suitcase full of tickets up here right now. If this is any indication of what is about to be this spring and summer, let me tell you guys. Uh, we passed, I probably passed 60 cars back there that were, mm -hmm. that were on the road. Like these are parking spots, guys. They're you can see they're they're painted and that's what they're supposed to be. But like this right here, this edge over here to my left, obviously the right's got rocks. But the edge to the left is they do not. That's not. You will turn over. You will flip your car. And all of these spots that have rocks, the rocks are there because people have parked there and gotten into trouble. And like this Kia right here, they're in the road. They are in the road. They will tow you for parking like that. That is only one parking spot right there. Not two, not leave my car out in the middle. So if I had to come through here to rescue somebody and I needed the rollback. It wouldn't happen. It wouldn't happen. I couldn't get the rollback through here. That's right here. Here's more of it, guys. So be aware when you're coming into town, take it easy on the National Park guys and the Rangers. The Rangers do an amazing job at trying to keep everybody safe. They have all the patience in the world, I promise you. I've, I've not met a, a park ranger over here that wasn't just fantastic. And uh, hats off to all the rangers and dispatch. I know you don't hear it enough. You guys do an amazing job. Look at this. This is that's crazy. This is one. This is one parking spot, and there's four cars in it. And with the rocks over here on the side, if you try to squeeze through and you get too close, you can damage your tire or your wheel with the rocks. And we get a lot. Yeah, we get a lot of flat tire calls and things like that. That one came out of there. I wasn't sure what I wanted to do there. We had a low pool and high pool and I changed my mind a couple of times. It was just really dug in. I figured that lightweight car, I'd do myself a favor and just pull it straight over with a low pool, but it wasn't happening. That was, uh, was crazy. So that's closed. Uh, yeah, it looks like the, uh, the main move is closed. Got a pause. They got very lucky on not flipping over, especially as dug in as that was. That was the only thing I could think of that kept it is because since it was all wheel drive, both of those tires were drivetrain tires, and so they both had traction. But it was really dug in on the front, and I didn't want to pull a tire off a bead or something like that. Try to keep it drivable. But this is just a half loop, guys. Like the whole, I guess the whole Motor Nature Trail is, is not open yet, but this is the bottom, bottom loop. This is like a, uh, I don't know, 10 or 15 minute drive on a loop. Yeah, I think so. But yes, very lucky she didn't turn over. I've seen a lot of wildlife on this bottom loop. Yes. Everybody is taking advantage of Rainbow Falls and they're all parking because that's the only thing to do up here right now is what it looks like. Mm -hmm. And it's a perfect day for it, perfect weather. Going to be a crazy busy day. Anyway, yes, fantastic weather, 60 degrees, perfect hiking weather. Don't drive on a rock, don't park on a ledge, and we'll see you on the next one. That's probably the nicest van I've seen in a long time. Yeah, I, I keep it clean. Oh yeah. my goodness. Yeah, it's, it's like, nice. 
That's yeah. like car show quality. I, I do wax it. I wax it. That's awesome. That's crazy. That's a very nice van. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> this one won't run, will it? I have no idea. Uh, he said they left it and it's been here forever. Oh, have they? They really? Yeah, yeah, he said they used to live here and they moved out. And... Oh, okay. Is this your jacket? Somebody's no, jacket. No, it's not mine. All I'll, right. throw it, I'll throw it here on the, uh, I'll throw it up here on the uh, thing. I bet you maybe the people working the wood over here is probably. Oh, probably. Yeah. Looks like a nice one. Yeah, it is a nice, it is a nice jacket. Yeah. I, have, I don't know who's doing the wood. I've never seen them. Keys are in it. Yeah. Three days. Keys are in it. In the ignition. Hey. <laughs> Getting ready to keep them wood borers away, right? Everything out. They're out already. It's crazy. Boy, they'll tear up a house. Yeah, I've already seen them out moving around. It's crazy. Spring break. We've got somebody over here that's decided to... Let's just go in here and... Let's go in here and talk to him. We've got somebody that's sitting in the vehicle. You guys, you, you can't park here. Oh, we can't? No, it's a private, uh, private parking lot. Okay, I'm over. Okay, thank you. Anyways, guys, we uh, we did the nice thing instead of towing them. Of course, they're in it. I can never get, I can never tow somebody if they're in it. Did this guy try to pull in there too? Oh, uh, looks like he's turning around. But we've done a good thing over here with the, with the parking. Of course, they chained their lot over here. And they've made sure that everything is is painted in uh, in some fresh colors. Uh, that's a cool one. Chains down. Chain has worked for the most part. Uh, the parking lot's got all the signs still at the entrance, but it is spring break and it will happen. So maybe we'll catch the next one. Red Bud Lane. Welcome back to the channel, guys. I gotta say thank you before I even get here and know who it is, but somebody requested us, uh, got themselves into a bit of a pickle. Turn left onto Red Bud Lane, then turn left onto Alameda Senna. And I guess we'll find out just how big of a, oh, pickle that is. That was a big bump. So the information that we got from the police department said that they drove Turn their left front on Alameda tire. Senna, then your destination will be on the right. Front tire, I see the officer there. They drove their front tire over a retaining wall. <laughs> no! <Nah. laughs> oh my goodness, this is narrow and steep. It's over here on the right. Yeah. <laughs> Officer oh. Myers. Officer Myers is super cool. He is. Oh my goodness. Well, that is definitely a pickle. Yes, it is. Well, you wasn't kidding. How are you? Uh, I've been better. Thanks for coming. Though. You're welcome. It looks like you got super lucky. I think, yeah. That's what I said. Yeah. Um. Wow, man. That I could any damage. None. <laughs> well, we'll try to keep it that way for sure, huh? That's very unique. I don't have anything up there, do I? Nothing. I got that tree right in front of me. What's that tree in front of you going to do? Fall over. Probably. Well, we have dead since it's got all that vines on it. You were backing out of it? Oh, yeah. Okay. I mean, that's all I can do is try to pull it forward. It's going to immediately come up. It's right on the edge of that. I'll try to alleviate it with a jack, I guess. We'll take a little pressure and try to use that tree. That's the only thing I can do. Creativity. I wonder if my strap, it's a good sized tree, so hopefully. I'm just gonna try to use this, but I don't know if it'll go around. 
Well, I'd like for it to be on this side, it's on the pool, on, side? on this side to push. But I don't know that I can get to the control arm. Okay. Want... I'm afraid if I if I go from here, it's going to be an angle and it's going to want to pull it that way. Sure. Do you want to uh, put some blocks under it? That... I need to be able to get to that control yeah. arm. To hook this one. Mm -hmm. yeah, I know. I need some blocks under that front tire. Um, I think hopefully it'll scoot on the jack. Because I, I, I. I'm concerned when you jack it up on the opposite side that it's going to hit over. So if I put something underneath the tire. I probably want to jack it up on this side. You're going to jack it up on this side. Okay. All right, it looks like I'm going to have to come about where you are, I think. <laughs> Are you moving out, baby? Um, I'll probably have to to clear the bumper because it's going to be, it's going to be crazy. Oh, I didn't put that one in neutral, did I? No. Going for neutral! Oh boy. Out there? I'd go, all the pressure's gonna be over here, so as long as we can clear that front bumper, we'll be okay. I'll try that. And then I'll grab yeah, the jack. Yes. I'm gonna hope this will take some of the pressure off of it. Thank goodness for aluminum jacks. They're in it. Okay, thank you. You're welcome, thank you. This thing's not gonna like me. Solar line steps on, which car is over. You're always in the way. Don't touch that. That's English ivy. You oh, well I'd definitely probably be allergic to that. No. I don't think you're I don't think anybody's allergic to me. Oh, I would be. <laughs> what is the Virginia creeper? Yeah. No. It's poison ivy for me and it gets me. Would you like me to be inside on the brake? I'm assuming it's just the front wheel drive unless she's got the parking brake on. I'm gonna try. How strong do you think that tree is? Okay. No, that's okay. I'm just making sure it can't come back down. Parking brake is on. Parking brake is on. I think I'm going to go to the front. You want me to be in here? Um, yeah, probably. Okay, no, no, no parking brake. No parking brake. No parking brake. I'm on the footbrake. Yeah, I would go to neutral. Am I going forward or back? Forward. Going forward. Off the parking brake. Yeah. It's tight. Yeah, I've got it tight. Okay. Let me snug it up just a little bit more. parking brake. Okay, I'm going to go 
I'm gonna go release that jack because I don't want it to come. No, uh uh. I would leave it just like it is. If you could kind of hold the wheel right there where it's at, don't let the wheel move. Okay, hold the brake. Cross my fingers and my toes. Okay, into drive. Both feet. You, you, you should just be able to keep that steering wheel right there and just straight forward. Parking brake's not set. Nope. It, all the wheels are on the ground, so it should pull forward very easy. You're like me though, I gotta figure out how to drive it first. It's not flashing or anything? No, I give it gas and it, and it dot, and it doesn't take RPMs. Is this, what's this, lane assist? Lane assist. Off, traction control off. Well, yeah, as long as traction control's off, it's not skipping, so it should pull straight forward. What if, what if she turns the tire this way and then just let it go back? Try to back out? Yeah. You just have to move the rig here. See, really, really, really load up on I don't think you're giving it enough fuel. I've got the pedal halfway and it's only showing 500 RPMs. Yeah, yeah, get, get. It's a Mopar product. You gotta. You a, got. I'm mashing it. <laughs> Listen, watch. Watch the RPMs. Look, you see the RPMs? Yeah. Watch. And it won't go. No. Okay. Well, uh, well, let's take, we'll take officer, we'll take the officer's advice. Um, t turn hard to me. Yeah, hard right. Hard as you can. Do you think it'll actually make it down that? I don't know that it'll come off of that. Man, if we were if we were a little farther forward, I'd say. But, but put it back in park. I'm gonna put it in park and I'm gonna set the parking brake. Let's hope it doesn't move. <laughs> Listen, am I gonna come off that? No, you're still on it, you're still on it. Yes, you'll understand what I mean. You load it up and it goes back down to 500 RPM. Hold on. <laughs> Thank you. You're very welcome. And we can do card and make sure you keep the receipt for your insurance. Yeah, that could have been very bad. I was coming up the hill and this guy down here in the first, he goes, Oh, shit, I thought you was coming to get my car. <laughs> hey, two for one, there you go. <laughs> He wants to get off this mountain but turn it over. I think that's a fantastic idea. I've got my work cut out for me, guys. You've got tons of room over here on this side. I'm 
hugging the tulips over here. <laughs> this is crazy. She's she got really lucky. That mm -hmm. was uh Yes she did. I told her she hit the brake at the right time because <laughs> if she had waited to hit the brake it would have probably been on the side. Yeah, for sure. It's one of those driveways too that are really hard to back down because they curve. <laughs> <laughs> And there's there's like no forgiveness. If you go off the side, that's it. You're off the side. There's like no room for error. Happy customer. So that worked out really good. She needed somebody to get her out of there quickly and efficiently. <laughs> <laughs> we just happened to be close. It's that's a good thing. I love the new lot over here, guys. Where uh, you know for all these downtown stuff, we're um, generally about five minutes ten minutes for yeah. most things that that could occur so we we have have the the number one spot for uh, for our times you know even even national park calls you know we're, we're right on the boundary of the national park we don't have to come from we don't have to go across town or anything like that so if you guys need us um, by all means you you can request us just say you know I, I request everything auto and and I think I've talked about this before on our channel you have the right to request. So let us know if we can help and uh, we will definitely do our best to get your car safe and get you back on vacation. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna get back to work. So stick around, stay tuned. <laughs>